Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the One Weapon Challenge. Now admittedly, me and Python have had such a hard time recording this series because we've run into a bunch of issues and it's just kind of messed everything up. So we host this server using a company called Multiplay and essentially what they did was they kind of leaked our server to the public, which is something they really shouldn't have done and it got into the wrong hands and our entire world was destroyed. But, thankfully, we have a backup, because of course. So, the problem with this backup is, though, weirdly, we defeated Plantera in the last episode, right? And we were going to do Solar Eclipse today. Well, this backup, it's the world we defeated Plantera on, because we have all of our stadium there, and we have all the items that we have, and the, the, you know, the world is meant to be how it was. However, for some reason, the temple is now locked again, and, and we don't understand why. So today, we're going to have to defeat Plantera again. We're going to have to take down, uh, well, we're going to have to open up the dungeon, well, the temple, and then we're going to go into, uh, into things. Hey, the axe, I forgot about that. <laughs> right. <laughs> so as always, I'm joined by the wonderful host, Python GB. Hey, buddy. Yeah, man, it's been a bit rough, but uh, we'll get ourselves back on our feet and we'll get some uh, we'll get some ponies done in no time. Okay, everyone. So we have a Plantera bulb and we also have our classic arena. So I'm going to buff up now. Do you want to get this thing started? Indeed. I would also buff up right now. All right, let's get it. Let's get it done. Right, I'm just going to turn on my minimap for a second. Right. Oh, okay. I can't get through there. You have to grapple through. <laughs> uh, oh, right. Okay. Well, yeah. She's looking good. Oh, she is. She's very Ooh, good okay. looking. Right, so we didn't have a problem with this the first time we faced it, so with reduced potions, I think we'll still be fine. Like, I think we're going to be good. Yeah, I mean, she's almost at the third health already, man. She's going to... She's getting destroyed. Yeah, this is fine. This is more than fine. But yeah, no, what a mad morning. We uh, we obviously come onto our, uh, our server, which is private and secluded, because... We're the only people that know it. That's the funny thing. And we obviously come on to record and just that. So when we came on and it was all destroyed, it was awful. It was yeah, awful. Because it made no sense. That was the thing that was annoying. It was ridiculous. Well, it was supposed to be private anyway, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Those people. They, yes, uh... indeed. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> all right. Do you know what? Do you know what? I could actually, come to think of it, I could actually uh, just quickly make... Some more potions, actually. If you defend me for a quick second, I forget that we actually have Daybloom, Danny. Oh my god, I forgot how hectic this thing is going to be. Oh yeah, there we go. We're going to have the whole shaboodle now, my oh, friend. Oh, there's nail gun guy down here. Oh my god. Uh, and okay. obviously, we have to consider the fact that this is medium course. If we die, then uh, we're going to we're gonna easily get caught in a death loop. Oh, death loop. See, you wouldn't want that. No, ah oh, man. It's going to be too crazy. All right, I'm going to continue defending you real quick. Okay. Uh, All over it. Up nature. Oh. Right, okay, you're fine, right? Yep, yep, just about, just about. I'll get destroyed, son. Okay. Oh, he's scum. Chucking one to you, chucking two on the floor down here. Oh, I chucked four on the floor. Oh, oh my snap. god. Right, okay. I'm still doing fine. I'm going to give you these in a sec. Right, up here get on the uh, the ledge, I'm going to drop them on the, uh, on the platform with the enchanted sundial. Nice one. Oh, okay. And I'll drop that as well. And buffing up. Okay. All right, right there's one on there. there as well. There's another regen one. I'm, uh, just obtained the Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo. Hey. Hey, you just got the yo-yo. Sick. Yeah, man. All right, well, we uh, we have a short list for uh, weapons we want to use for Gollum. We're not going to be using the Eye of Cthulhu for him. Uh, what we're going to be using yeah, instead man. is we want to go for the Death Sickle, and I'm quite happy with either a Toxic Flask or a, uh, a Nail Gun. So they're the ones I'm yeah. going with. Oh my oh, god, it's I... so hectic. I love it. Oh, I know, man. I it's got to be it. so I careful. Love... Make sure you constantly monitor your health because you're obviously made for so your low health. So. Yeah, low defense as well. Yeah. Oh, here comes the deadly spit. Oh, these, these dudes do a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, they sly up on you as well because they're uh, quite small. Ah, come on, you bugger. Uh, he's done. All right, come on. Got a Dr. Man play here. What a great start, though. I mean, with the uh, Eye of Cthulhu and everything, that's a great start. That's a very strong start, indeed. Oh, come on, man. Right, if we double-team these, we might be able to survive a little bit longer, I think. Yeah, let's we'll stick together. Oh, we move his awesome. one. Oh, a butcher. Oh, I forgot about the butcher's chainsaw. It'd be a bit of a weird one for Gollum, but I did consider it. Yeah, it is a bit oh, of a weird Oh, Muffron over here. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, yeah. Oh! Just charged me. 
Now, the thing about Mothrons is we need to kill Mothrons because we're obviously, we've already got the Eye of Cthulhu. But whatever else the Mothron drops, as in, like, Hero Sword, we can't use because we can't craft. Right, I'm just going to heal up there real quick. That one. Another nail gun, heads up. And also a deadly sphere. Okay. Man, these nail gun guys are so annoying to kill. They go on for yeah, so long. Oh, they're crazy, dude. All right. You All right, need to no go back in the house to just shield yourself a bit. Okay. One by one, they're being picked off like, like a horror movie because it's, you know, Halloween. Oh, it is Halloween. Oh, my God. I forget it's actually <laughs> Halloween today. Oh, oh dude, my you God. Oh, dude, you got as well. Right, go. uh, I'm going to be oh. watching Cabin in... This is my plan, right, for Halloween films. I'm going to be watching Cabin in the Woods tonight at 5 o'clock. And then I'm going to be watching um, Ouija. And then I'm going to watch two Simpsons Halloween specials to kind of, like, kill the night off. Oh, I always find that the Simpsons Halloween things are quite freaky. They're I'll brilliant. Credit, they are They're brilliant. Yeah. I love them. <laughs> have you ever it's seen that one plan. where Homer turns into like a massive slime thing and starts eating everyone? I think I have. The one that always shines out to me is the one where they, they're kind of ripping on The Shining and it's like no beer and no uh, TV makes Homer go crazy. <laughs> and he's like, don't mind if I do. Oh, man. Hey, everyone in the comment section down below. I'm, I'm actually really curious. What are you guys doing for Halloween? The people still go trick or treating. That's what I want to know. Surely oh, they must, but it's so I, dangerous these days. I, I would imagine so. I hope so. I really hope so. I hope people go trick or treating. If not, it'd be very boring. Like that's the whole best bit about Halloween. Yeah, man. I've got something uh, a bit shaming to admit. In my uh, later years, we kind of got lazy, so my parents just bought in a hex on a switch and just gave it more to us. <laughs> 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 yeah. I like it. I like it. Did you did you go trick or treating as a kid though? Oh yeah, I did. I definitely did. I used oh, to go man. With my I used to go with my sister. That was that was always our thing. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I miss I miss being a child and having having Halloween. I used to oh, no, we used to I go. And, be... Yeah, we used to go and watch like loads. Well, we used to go and do loads and loads of houses, and then we'd um. And then we'd come back and watch like Halloween Town and like loads of Halloween like cartoon shows. Oh. Nice. Best. Oh, I got your nail gun, dude. Oh my god, you got the nail gun? Oh, Sick. Nail gun is down, buddy. Oh, oh my god, that's awesome. Pass it here, oh, buddy. Pass it here. I want to try it out first. It I probably should. Go, buddy. 96 range damage, dude. Oh, does it just use bullets? Damage. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. It is like one of the best weapons, one of the best range weapons you can get. It's brilliant. In terms of weapons, I I would consider using the grenade launcher, honestly. Would you really? I got, yeah, I, I got a grenade launcher from Plantera. I would consider using it, honestly. Well, how about, yeah, use that then. Use the grenade launcher and then post Gollum, we'll go get a, uh, you'd have to use it to, actually, no, you, you just have to use it until Gollum. That's it. Yeah, just uh, take down Gollum with it and uh, bada bing, bada boom, we're done. Yeah, hey. all right then. All right, cool. Game plan. Sweet. All right, everyone. So the arms deal is back. And Python, you've made a change, right? I have. I'd quite like to go for this yellow. So if I get a good reforge on it, combined with the yo-yo bag and also a melee helmet, I think this thing could do a serious amount of damage. All right. Okay, well, I'll give you my yo-yo bag. And I'll Ooh. also give you this melee helmet. Oh, that is brilliant. Okay, uh, I've got a mage helmet, but that's not going to be too much use to you, is it? No, I've got my archer helmet now. Um, I just <laughs> need one more accessory then to kind of make up for it. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, I just realized as well I could put my mechanical glove on now as well and get more damage that way. Ooh. Yeah. All right, this? so at the moment, the Yelich does 74 damage. Put the yo-yo bag on. It actually does 72 now. Oh, it doesn't increase damage. Okay, mechanical glove. We'll bring it up to 80. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's nice. Do we have right. a goblin? I think I've decided goblin. what to go for. Yeah, no, our goblin's dead. Ah, right. Dang. I have an iron skin here for you, buddy. Ooh. An iron skin and a regen. Ooh. I keep clicking the NPC. Did you get that? I did indeed. Thank you very much. Right. I'm going nice to take these and plant some more seeds down. Nice one. There you go. Oh, yeah. 80 damage, man. This is brilliant. I'm so hyped about it. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just going to make a few potions real quick. Um, 
potions. I'll take an archery potion, a hunter potion, and then I'm going to make myself a regen to go with my iron skin. That should be it, really. That's all we really need, to be honest. Hey, there we go. All right, so I actually already have three lizard power cells because I looted out the temple a wee bit. At the same time, I got tablets. So, yeah, all we got to do oh, is head down do and kick some butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah also to remember because our uh, world reset in the temple that probably means all the traps we disabled are probably still back oh wait oh. have we got an engineer at the house engineer uh you mean mechanic i don't think yeah i can't remember yeah we got one i'm one set i'll be right there i'm just gonna um i'm just gonna get some wire cutters all right, and I'm going to grab a wormhole potion and teleport to you. Nice. Uh, potions, wormhole. Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the bonds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, almost there. Uh, yeah, make sure you go left at the bottom here. Like left in yep. a second. Like left I gotcha. now. Here we go. Right. Sweet. Yeah, it's funny because this is obviously all the area I prepared for the temple, and then the temple wasn't activated. I, I honestly still don't get that. <laughs> uh, you and me both, man. Don't you worry a single thing about. Oh, a mimic. Oh, Ooh. my lord. You just got wrecked in a matter of like a half a second. <laughs> right, I'm just going to cut all these wires off. Hey, so one sec. Look. All oh, the traps have been disabled. No? Yeah, one sec. Don't uh, worry. I'm just going to get them. Yeah. Don't, worry, don't worry. I'll get them as we go. Uh, I got you. Right. If you defend me, I'll get him. All over you. Right, okay. Uh, all right, these are fine. This is honestly such a quick way. I forgot you could even do this. It's you just, so uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Auto click with the wire cutters. Um, all right, almost there. Slowly catching up. There's a mimic in there. I'm just running past all the enemies. It's all it is. Right, <laughs> okay. Let's disable all the ones in here. It's a trail of dead bodies everywhere. All right, oh, cool. Mimic again. Jeez, it's two mimics I've taken down. Yeah, I run past one on the way here. All right, I'm just going to level this whole area up. All right. Hey, here we go. Okay, well, uh, do you want to start in? I'll buff up. Yeah. Do you think you're ready? I think I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Buff up, and here we go. Oh my lord. Oh my god. This was a good choice. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that I'm only going to get to use the nail gun for like two minutes now because this is awesome. It really is. It's brilliant. It is a brilliant, brilliant weapon. One of my wow. favorites to be added in 1.3 actually. Here we go. Second okay. stage. Oh, this guy's getting destroyed. Yeah, this is just no competition, is it? Rex. Sorry, mate. Got destroyed. Uh -oh, we do a few? No. <laughs> yeah, I may as well do a few because if we can get a weapon from it, we can use for juke fish from that'd be good. That would be good, yeah. I'm trying to think, I wouldn't mind a pick saw, but in terms of weapons, I got a golem fish the first time, by the way. Wow. So I'm not entirely sure how that would fare against the thing. Oh! Gotta make sure I avoid him a little bit more. I've been kind of trying to tank it. Oh, it's a, it's a pixel. Hey. All right. And third and final one. For now, anyway. Okay. Let's do this. We got it, man. Okay. So, would you like a pixel? This is the question. Oh, I'd love it. Yeah, because then, because you got the axe, I'll have the pixel. Yeah, buddy. I like the sound of that. There we go. Oh. All right. Okay. Just short, son. Nope, heads up, heads up, careful, careful. That's alright, I'm good. He's dead. Yay, I need that health. Right, okay, Golem Fist then. Oh, you got a Golem Fist that time? Oh, dang. A Golem Fist would be pretty good. Yeah, I got it as well. Hey, huh. does 105 damage for me, holy crap. 89 for me currently. Ooh. Right, so the question is, what would be the next boss? It would be Duke, Duke Fish, Fish Rom. Oh, man, we're going to need some good ranged weapons, I think, for that. Yeah, we are. Um... Hmm. Mm. This is going to be the hard thing. I think I'm going to use the Eye of Cthulhu Yo-Yo. Yeah. Actually, go do you think it. I'm going to be able to hit him with that? Yeah, yeah, but you're going to have to be pretty good at trying to avoid his attacks. That's the only thing I'd say. 
I, I might go and farm next episode for a Tabai or some Ninja Gear. Yeah. Just I, because I don't think I'm going to do it without it. Yeah, and I need to figure out what I want to use. So, yeah, man. I we'll think, leave it uh, here then. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you all. Uh, thank you as always for watching. A uh, bit of a mad episode. Like I say, we had a rough start to this. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed it anyway. Have an absolutely fantastic day and enjoy trick-or-treating, everyone. Peace out. See you later. Bye. Good morning. Good evening.